Now, the statue of Edward Colston was torn off its plinth in Bristol and toppled into the harbour on the 7th of June by protesters, demonstrating in the Black Lives Matter march that day. Colston had always been a controversial figure for his past as a slave trader. He transported an estimated 84,000 slaves across the Middle Passage between 1680 and 1692. And it's recorded that 19,000 of his human cargo died and were thrown overboard en route. As deputy governor of the Royal African Company, which held the monopoly on slave trading along West Africa, Colston made a fortune and was known as a philanthropist, giving to good causes through the proceeds of his often murderous trade in human flesh. Now, all attempts to remove his statue had been met with rebuttals, till the demonstrators took matters into their own hands and toppled the monument. The event has sparked a heated debate in social media and continues even now as to what parts of British history should be publicly lauded in monuments. The far-right Britain First movement has called a demonstration this weekend, quote, to defend Britain's monuments. This followed graffiti being daubed on the statue of Winston Churchill, and there are fears of a standoff with Black Lives Matter's counter-demonstrators, with police having to keep the parties apart. All of which begs the questions, how will this all end? And which figures will Britain celebrate in monuments as icons of her history, which all can be proud of?